Hello and welcome to a short tutorial video on how to make automated obsidian production with, well, let's see, Applied Logistics 2, um, Industrial Foregoing, or any other mod that has a pump, thermal expansion, and ender storage to get the ender tanks. Um, the method is quite generic, but in this side, on this side, in the, in the nether, I have a pump. In this case, it's the industrial foregoing pump with a range add-on. I have a magmatic dynamo for local power, and then an ender tank just to get it to uh, to the overworld. And on the other side, in the normal world, here we have a compact setup. Uh, it's not perfect because it's a bit tight here. More room would, would be good, but here we have an igneous extruder that is set to obsidian, of course. We have the same colored ender tank and then some hardened fluid duct or any other, any other uh, fluid pipe would work as long as it can handle lava. Water and then we have a level emitter and then the import bus from a plate in G62 to import and shut it down when we are satisfied. This one is set to 50, but it can be any number of course. And this import bus simply imports everything and this one stops when we are satisfied. So it's actually that simple. And uh, so let me show you how to build everything. So after that reversed introduction, let's get ready to build. I prepared most of the stuff already, like the ender tank. It's quite an important part of this. So this build is pretty much dependent on it from ender storage, blaze rods, pearls, obsidian. So standard stuff. I have a big range add-on. This is the third biggest one. 12, 11, 10, this is the 10. It's made from diamonds, plastic, and some glass pane. Uh, emeralds and platinum is something I don't have too much of. So we're running with the diamond and then we'll move it a bit later when it's uh, depleted. But we only need to change it on the other side. Uh, we own, on this side, it will be exactly the same. So we have a level emitter. This is also standard stuff. The import bus as well. This is everything we need from Applied Logistics. But uh, we'll, we'll make use of them in a smart way. So we need two channels. Uh, think about that. I hope I prepared that. We'll see. Uh, we need magmatic dynamo and hardened fluid act. Remember that because it's lava. You can't use normal. And then... Well, we don't need much else than the pump itself. You can probably use whatever pump you want. I'm going for the industrial foregoing pump. So plastic, machine case. This is very standard stuff. Plastic is always slow to come by. Um, oh, we didn't use the buckets. Oh, that's good. It always takes a long time to uh, to make plastic, so always prepare this and have it running so you always have at least 10 in stock. It takes forever to make them if you're just waiting for it. Okay, so I wonder if we should start down here. If in that case, we need the igneous extruder. It's also standard stuff from Thermal. And I think that I want to place it. I guess we can place it here. Let's try that. And then we need, I can always move this later on. And then let's see, we need the emitter because this is what should stop everything from running. So now let's see, we need obsidian, by the way. One of those. Let's go into the emitter 
and set this one to, I don't know, 50, 60. And that's a good number. Almost a stack. So emit when we are above or equal. And we are not, so we are low. And this one should be configured to be to run on low because we will emit a high when we have uh, when we're full or when we're satisfied and then we should stop so low okay and this one needs to be set in obsidian mode and that means that we need fluiduct fluiduct normal fluiduct as well and this this okay let's take it so we know what we're doing we need in and in and here we want it to be out of course we can you can use something else you can use auto output and then just send it to like this chest that i already have this one will always be imported you can see it over there so this import was so you can just route it to that one and then we can save a channel so perhaps i'll do that in the future but now we're placing an import bus here and this will run at all times great then we need water like that all right good and we need power I think we'll just power it from behind. From the back here, here. Okay. It has power, it has water. Now the only thing we need is lava. This looks crappy, but we are approaching the that Pace in the base when we need to move things around and perhaps build a larger base. But that's not the part of this video. Let's instead continue with the nether stuff. And I have prepared that as well. So let's go over there. Okay. So I prepared something over here. And we need to chunk load this part. Perhaps we should chunk load the base as well. So down here, we have a big sea of lava. Now we can, we can, we can move this a bit later. This range add-on will actually place it, we will have lots of lava. For obsidian, probably more than we need. But then we can move the pump to somewhere else and I think we'll be fine. All I heard is a slime. So we need to claim chunks here. Or more, more importantly, we need to shift click them to chunk load. And I don't know how large region we'll need. Perhaps like this. I'll take one more just to be safe. That's a lot of lava still. Now we have lava down here and I'm actually not 100% sure that we need to... Hmm... How to... We need to put it level to the lava. We'll try and then we'll see. Give it the range add on and show working area. So it looks like we are too high up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it works when we give it power. 
So we need magmatic dynamo. Let's turn that off. That's a bit annoying. Like so. So we'll use some of the lava directly. And then here is where we'll I think we need to place it further down. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, we almost lost it. Okay, so now we can place it one step down. Don't want to lose it. There, and then the range add on. And I think that looks better. Now we need to redo this, or just turn everything a bit. Okay, how about that? Then let's try it again. Oh, now we're getting lava. And... Seems like we need a servo, so let's go and fetch one. And more rose red. So now I hope we can, let's see, servo, place, activate. Okay, very good. So now let's call this ender tank red, red, red. We are using, we're gonna lava into this one, it's running. And we can always upgrade this with some augment to keep it from depleting and so on, but that's not very important. So how about that? Quite compact, we're filling up. Let's go back and see our obsidian production take place. And it won't start until we have them set to the same color. So let's begin with setting this Hmm. You know what? I would really love to have one piece of fluid duct in between for two reasons. I'll display this by doing so. You see, there's a, this part can be rotated. It's how if you want to import or or insert or extract. But if I give it, if I give it a, um, let's see, a pulse like this one, it will shift. And I noticed that while testing that my my emitter actually switched it. So perhaps it's a problem, perhaps not, but. Uh, Oh, this one was hard. Let's do keep it stable and then you can do as you want in your base. I want to keep it red. Oh, 
Okay, I hope that's correct. <laughs> and let's see if we can get the server working here as well. Like so, and then hardened, remember that. Yep, that worked. So now we can place our flu deck back here. And this should now be working. You can see the obsidian was extracted immediately. And now we have automated production. It doesn't look good, but I'll fix that in sometime in the future. But the concept will be the same. Perhaps it would, it would look better to have this ender tank one step above. Um, perhaps you can have it here anyway, even though you have the level emitter. Details like that, you can try it for yourself. But this is what I'll use for now, and at least I can see it. And it's done. And let's see if we can fix this. And now when we reached 60 here, 61, all right, we had one more coming. This should be stopped right now. This one is outputting high. And we've stopped. So it seems like my method of 60 gave me 61, but I can live with that. Perhaps I should lower it to 50 or so. But that's it. Now we have automated production, turn off automatically. We just need to keep an eye on the nether um, and see that pump. And I'll need to fix the stairs. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.